What's up guys? Hope you're all having a great day. Back at it here with this step-by-step -step video on how to create things in Udon for beginners for VRChat. So what we're going to do today is covering how to make a door animate on or any object really animation on trigger same way as we do with the cube by clicking it. So yeah with the example what we're going to be doing today is a door opening because that is the common first thing someone thinks about animating um, but this can be applied the same way to anything in any way up to your imagination so uh, this works for any object we're just going to use a simple we're just going to use another cube as a door for now so let's make a cube and if you haven't if you don't know how to set up the world or get that going go check out part one first video it'll show you how to do that and then you might want to check out the mirror toggle on that and if you don't don't come back and we'll just get right to animating so let's get this cube somewhere we would like it that'll do and we're gonna resize that by just scaling it so it looks a little bit more like a super basic door Okay, so here is our door. The first thing we're gonna want to do is add a component, animator. So now that we have an animator, we're gonna need something called a controller. So in our assets, let's add a new folder and call that controllers. And the controllers, we're gonna create an animation controller. We're going to call that door. We're then going to recheck our door and drag and drop the controller. Easy as that. Okay. Now we're going to need something to trigger the store. Just like we had the cube to trigger the mirror, we're going to need something to trigger the store. So let's add another cube. And we're just, we're just going to leave it there. You know, you can make this into anything you want. And this is going to need a couple things attached to it. It's going to need an Udon behavior. And we're going to do the same thing. New program. <coughs> Open Udon graph. We are going to go back to our door cube which is right here. I should go ahead and rename that so it's easy to follow. And door trigger. Okay. So we're going to take our door and take this animator and drag and drop it. Okay. Now that we have that, we're going to need a couple other things. Right click, create nude, enter Act. I hit something weird there. All right, interact. We're going to need animator, click, and then set bool. We will need this twice, so Shift D or Control D. I'm sorry. And I believe that's it. All right, for now, let's connect our nodes. And for this instance, we will. It is default set to int boolean. We're going to be using strings. All right, and we haven't named this yet, so we're not going to fill in what the string is actually called under name here. 
but we will want this value box checked as well. And that is all you need to know about that for the moment. Okay, so now we can go back to our scene. And we can click animation here. And if for whatever reason you don't have these tabs down here of animation and animator, you can add those by going to window and animation and there you go. All right, so we are gonna to wanna to click the door, click animation and begin animating door, create an animation clip. So what we're gonna to wanna to do, so we're gonna create a folder with all our animations in them to keep everything organized. And we are gonna call this our default state, and our default state for a door or anything is closed or idle or whatever you would like to name it. So we're gonna call ours closed. We're gonna add a property, transform. And for this, we want to, we're gonna rotate this door open. So it's gonna swing open. You could do it, you know, you could move it. You could, it could be a sliding door. You could do any anything you'd like to do here. Um, now we're simply just not gonna do anything. So we're gonna click this, create new clip, and open. Add property, transform, rotation. So we're gonna click this record button and physically have the motion, it do the motion we would like it to do when it plays. So we're gonna maybe do that. Just do that. Simple animation. And uncheck it. If you hit play, you can see the animation play. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna click on these two little time frames and delete them. So now it only has one state. So closed and open. Okay, so now we click on the animator tab and you can see it auto defaults the entry to closed, which is what we want. So we are going to right click closed, make transition to open, right click open, make transition to closed. Then we're gonna click on each of these arrows within these states and uncheck has exit time. Essentially what's that mean, what that means is you can't spam the animation, it has to fully make its transition before you, it goes again. And we don't want that. Um, you can see the difference and play with it on your own and see if you do want it, but for now we are going to uncheck that. Okay. Now we are going to click our door trigger and set the animator control value of door. So basically this trigger will animate, trigger the store animation is how this is going to work. And that should be all folks. Let's try it out. Uh, first way to test an animation without loading the game is you can hit play. Oh, I lied. We are not done yet. Good catch. This is why we do this because we did not set the values for the state machine. So let's do that. We're gonna click, go to animator, click choose to add a new parameter, and we want a Boolean. We're gonna call this is oop, open. Okay, so now we click on each of these arrows and set a condition. This is how the state machine knows what state, when to go to which state. And is open is true. So we want, when the trigger is true, it will switch to open position. And we're gonna click the other arrow at the same condition, but we're gonna say false. So when is open is false, the door will be closed, which kind of makes logical sense. That's why we worded it that way. So let's click on our door. Oh, I'm sorry, our door trigger. Go back to the Udon graph. And now that we have a name for this Boolean is open. This is case sensitive, so make sure 
it matches that uh, property down here. We should be good. So let's try this again now that we didn't forget something. Hit the play button. Give it a second to load up. Go back to your animator. You can see if we toggle this variable the animation does indeed work. So our state machine is working. Now we need to make sure our trigger is working. And for that, we'll actually have to go in game. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we're in game. Let's test it out. All right, it opens and it doesn't close. All right, so we made a little error in our Udon script. Let's go check that out. All right, yeah, that's not right. Um, let's delete this node, create new node. We're gonna need an animator. And we're gonna need git instead of set, git bool. All right, the next thing we're gonna need is a boolean and then the urinary negation again. So we're going to take this like that and this like that. Change this to string is open. And connect it. All right. With those changes, let's boot it up and try it again. Okay, back in game. And it's working. So this could be any animation you want, and that's how we toggle between two states. Very simple. All right, let's, since that's so easy, let's go ahead and... Um, actually, yeah, we'll call it there for this video, and the next one we'll cover how to, instead of having a clickable trigger, We'll cover how to just, you know, into, like let's say I'm standing here and it automatically opens. And then when I'm out of the space, it'll close. That's called a, uh, basically the same as this. It's a uh, trigger area. Instead of a clickable trigger, it'll automatically do it. So we're going to do that in the next video. But thanks for watching. Let me know if I forgot to cover something. You had any issues recreating this. Um, anything like that i will try to help you in the comments if you enjoyed it or it helped you you know let me know in the comments or hit a like or something i don't know let me know if this stuff's useful anyways guys have a great day